Is it raining over there where you're at? It's crazy. Yeah, I think we're good now. I'm I'll keep clicking back and forth, but uh yeah, no, I'm I'm super excited about uh being on the race here, you know, local at our home. Um this car has got a lot of history at Crossville Dragway. And then of course, you know, my son being able to compete, he's been running uh he's been running some small tire stuff. He's actually got a small tire MPK win under his belt. And uh we've made some changes on on his car, so we're we're gonna use it as a test session. Um there we go. There, now yeah, we're live. We're live, we're we live on each one. So for you so guys for that you were guys just joining just my live, my I've been live, been live on Crossville Dragway's, Dragways page for a few page minutes. For a few and minutes and, uh, I'm going I'm to going bring everybody, bring everybody in. in, like in like Hannah, this. if you get questions on your end, then just yeah, ask okay. it from your ask it from your page, and that way, okay. I'm closing my second one out so we don't get a reverb in audio. Yeah, you're good. So yeah, excited. I uh, I actually texted JJ this week and uh, wanted to see uh, if he was going to do the arm drop and everything, how it was going to go. And so mm -hmm. we're really excited. Um, my son has never got to race a chases a race style race, so Ooh. you know that's that's pretty cool. And of course, you know he he's uh he's pretty pretty confident that he can set when he needs to set and he can go when he needs to go. So um, you know. It, I've been telling him it's a lot different when you're in a car because I've had a bunch of people jump on me and I've chased them in the past and, and I should have set, but it's, it's hard sitting in the seat to sit. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. And the one thing I can tell everybody, and I've talked about this before, if you've never been to a JJ's race before, it is a great time. I will tell you that it is a lot of fun. Um, you will get a lot of, you'll get a lot of entertainment for sure. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good thing. It's actually my first one, so I, it's my first ever. I was like, "You're not gonna, you're you're not gonna know what happens. It's gonna be like the best experience. You're gonna have a ton of people. There's gonna be a ton of traffic." And I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll be cool. I'm super stoked, super looking forward to it. Um, you know, everybody that uh, everybody that's ever been to one has always had a good time, and and that's you know, it's a good thing. It's a neat change for me to be able to. Uh, to do it, you know, we start next week running No Prep Kings uh, Street Outlaws. Um, Street Outlaws is uh, getting ready to gear up, and we got 12 weeks and 10 races straight to run in a 12-week time period. So we're heading to Pennsylvania um, next week, and we'll be gone on the road. So it's cool to be able to come to Crossville and uh, get a race in before we go. Um Longtime Crossville racer has just joined my chat, and that's Ronbo Ron Robertson. Ronbo, it's good to see you on here. Uh, nice. So, uh, getting some people over in my chat right now, and and uh, it takes a few minutes, you know, as you know, to get everybody to come on. And mm -hmm. I, it never fails because we post this on our on our YouTube channel, and they'll be like, "Why are you sitting there just staring at it? Why aren't you talking? What what's the point? I wasted." three minutes of my life because they're watching it as a replay later, you know, and, and it's like, so we always tell everybody in the beginning, like, this is a live. So if you're watching it, give us a few minutes and yeah, absolutely. Um, everybody's a critic online. So we, mm -hmm. uh, I just had Brodix over here on Crossville's chat say that, uh, I let Jim know that dad wants Jimmy first round. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. We want some good smack talking. And if JJ's bunch is there, there will be some smack talking for sure. Those guys are masters at it. Um, he didn't. Uh, he didn't get where he's at by being a dummy. That's for sure. But uh, we um, we're just going to go out and have some fun. Uh, Sam Butler's on my chat right now. Good to see you, Sam. Uh, I remember when you guys raced at Crossville when uh, our family owned the racetrack. So it's good to have you on here. Amanda Howe said that Newcomb does not want that smoke. Period. <laughs> That is great. Uh, so, uh, you know, we've had, uh, like I said, we've had a lot of good history uh, there at Crossville and uh, looking forward to 
you know, going out there and, and doing it with Jimmy. And, and it's a good, uh, it's a good chance for me to, uh, you know, work on one car at a time. And, uh, I will tell everybody that, um, I said, I had a little surprise. We are bringing the guardian. We are bringing my MPK car with us. Nice. Um, now that being said, I'm not going to promise that we're going to make any runs. There are, um, my priority right now is to take care of Jimmy and make sure that he is good to go, make sure the car is good to go. And um, we may make uh, a couple early shakedown runs. Just depends on how time goes, how the track, you know, how everything fits in the schedule. Um, we have a test session planned with the car uh, on Sunday at a remote location somewhere that we're not going to talk about. Um, mm -hmm. And we're going to slip off and do some, some uh, solid testing with it, but I will have it on property with us on Saturday and uh, we'll have it out of the trailer and we very well may, uh, may get a chance to shake it down. I'd like to make, um, like to make a hundred foot shot or so with it. Uh, Hannah, you have went black. You have black. Uh -oh. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there you go. There we You're go. Back. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I had a notification pop up and I was like, Oh goodness. Okay. Oh, right. So, uh, that, that's what we got going on right now. And we've, uh, Jimmy's been working on the car today. Uh, we had a little bit of a, little bit of a problem with a small transmission leak. And so we've, we've actually got a new motor in the car right now. Um, so we need to come shake it down and then, uh, we'll bring the MPK car with us also. And if everything works out, we may get a chance to, you know, scuff a set of tires and maybe do a, a 60 or hundred footer. I won't run it out the back door at Crossville and I'll, and I'll tell, you know, everybody it, it's not a slam. It's, it's, you know, it's our home track. It's where I grew up at, but the bottom line is, uh, my MPK car runs about 205 to 207 out the back door. And, um, I'm just, we have a, uh, we have carbon fiber brakes on the car. Really the car is set up to run on longer, longer racetracks. So we're not going to try to make a full pull, but we may come out and make a, uh, a shakedown run just to uh, get ahead of the game, you know, on uh, on our test session for Sunday. So um, hard to say. I don't. I'm not going to say what we are or what we aren't going to do. But it will be on property. I will have it with me, and uh, it has had a lot of changes done over the winter. So when I tell you guys it's a new car, you know, sadly I totaled a car last year and we had to rebuild. And I built this new car and we brought it out last year at MPK. We managed to go to a final with it, uh, and then over the winter, Dan and I tore the whole car apart and uh, we've changed a bunch of stuff on it, including a different motor to uh, play in the gray area of the rules. And uh, that motor will be in the car um, and we'll be on, on property Saturday at, at uh, Crossville Dragway. So looking forward to that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's sketchy to see some of these faster cars come down at Crossville whenever they're, Going sometimes yep. a little too fast, and I'm just like, Whoa. yeah. I mean, it it is what it is. Like I've uh -huh. I've been fast at Crossville. Uh, the car that we're bringing, uh, Jimmy, will be driving. I think we've been 409 at Crossville with that car. Um, my MPK car is considerably faster than that, and uh -huh. we'll, just, we'll just say that. But uh, I think we've been 184 with uh, the car Jimmy's going to be driving at Crossville, and so you know, it's uh that is a plenty of race car to have uh there on the property and we'll uh we just want to have some fun and, and mix it up with these small tire guys and give jimmy a chance to do the chases or race thing and um get some laps in before we start with mpk because we got to get all these cars ready and it's a perfect testing tune oh absolutely yeah um the whole mpk thing uh, that's that's going to be really interesting and then also seeing these guys getting down on 28s i mean there's a lot of people that's going to come to this that have been to Crossville before, but there's some that haven't been to Crossville before for some of these races. Um, I've had messages from some people from Georgia that's like, you know, hey, we've never run front side stuff like this, but we want to come up and try it out. And so they've made like a bunch of changes to their cars. I'm like, come on. I mean, free entry, 5,000 to win and then free entry for daily. So. Yeah, exactly. So I wouldn't be surprised. Um, my wife has got a pretty quick daily driver and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if she doesn't show up and run daily driver out there Saturday also. So, we, you know, it's hard awesome. to say. Um, we love that. That'll be really good. That'll be great. 
it's it'll be a lot of fun for sure uh i'm gonna look over at my chat see what's going on over here we got uh got about 130 people online right now on my side um ron hall how much horsepower is in the two cars so about 7500 horsepower between the two of them and uh they're saying they lost live on your end I'm going to see if I can get it over here. That's what I'm just seeing on this one. I went black for a second. That's all right. Jack Harvey, I am so glad to see you online. You won a prize pack last year, and you have yet to pick it up. So I've got some stuff for you. And uh, I will make it a point to make sure that it is in the semi-truck when it leaves here. Michael Fox needs help finding a good tuner, local to Cookville or Crossville. What kind of tuning are you trying to get done, Michael? What kind of car? What's the platform? My live is good, but we have lost Hannah. She has disappeared. Devices are not connected. Let's see what Hannah. I got Hannah back here. At her back. Oh, here we go. Ta-da. Yay. I think I got it figured out. Right, I think it's cool. working out. <laughs> my boy Noel Troop is back in Jamaica good to see you sir one thing about I've got a great fan base from all over the world uh, we actually shipped internationally this year this this week for the first time which is really cool uh, people buying merch over in the UK and, and uh, that stuff's really awesome um, see I want us to get like big like that to where we have the massive like following fan base of people that are like everywhere. I think that's the coolest thing ever. It, it's cool. And you know, it's a, uh, um, it's just taking, it's taking a lot of time. Uh, and it, it'll, it'll grow. Um, Curtis Dooley, are we, am I going to Canada? I don't know yet. We'll wait and see. Uh, Michael Newcomb is looking for an autograph. I will, I will autograph your nipple, Michael Newcomb <laughs> and only your nipple. Make sure I have my camera out for that because that would be like a good that'd be a good photo for him. I'll hang it up Newcomb, on like the side of the building or something. Newcomb and I have had a lot of fun at Crossville Dragway over the years. We once had a foot race about ten years ago, uh, to the sixty foot clock, and um, both of us liked to died, but uh, we foot raced at one point. Nah, I think I beat him. I'm not sure. He'll probably say he won. So we're going to see a 60 foot foot race Saturday. Lord, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, goodness. That was good. I don't think so. You know what would happen? I mean, just being honest, like with what I do now for a living, I stay in shape. We're in the gym all the time, but I can tell you what would happen. Michael and I would, would foot race and I'd probably trip and fall and break a leg or something. And I'd be out of racing for like, we don't long. need that. We don't need uh, that. And yeah, somebody wanting me and JJ to race. I promise you, I will not race JJ the boss on foot. JJ, <laughs> JJ the boss is fast on foot. Anybody that thinks otherwise is sadly mistaken. Uh, now, we'll race JJ with any of his cars he wants to race with, but I ain't racing JJ on foot, period. That dude is fast. He, I believe he could outrun most people backwards. He's that fast. Wow. Like, he's That's fast, wild. though. I've seen him run. I swear, I, I swear, he can go four, five, four, five, or four, six, forty in cowboy boots. That dude is fast. That is that. That's crazy. <laughs> he's yeah. He's like silly fast on foot. That's absolutely insane. But um, uh, what else we got? We got a bunch of chat going on on my side. So Jody Campbell says that Newcomb and I should rematch the foot race. So I'm telling you, that's what would happen. I'd like I. I'd trip, break an ankle, be out of commission. It would be yeah. something bad would happen. <laughs> they come you guessed a lot on me. <laughs> as we get older, uh, we realize that we're not quite as as resilient as we were as we once were. That is great. That is I got into a I had a guy that kept headbutting my fist last year in Minnesota when we were at a bar one night. Uh, he just, he, he wouldn't stop. He just kept headbutting my fist. And the next day, you know, uh, I was sore from head to toe. Like 
having a bar fight years ago, I, I wouldn't have a problem. But uh, I tell you what, I it was one of those deals reminding me of that country song. I was the winner, but I felt like I got my felt like I'd been whooped by an old football team. But uh, oh goodness, we just don't heal up like we used to. I yeah. I'm old. <laughs> Oh, uh, MPK <laughs> I'm not on the foot race. <laughs> MPK Stutes, uh, my thoughts on Bowman, Chuck 55, and Murillo and Chandler not racing this season. Man, you know, the deal is it's tough. Uh, it's tough for everybody. When I tell people what it costs to run this stuff, they think we're crazy. But, I mean, it is a huge financial commitment. It is. Um. It's a huge commit. I mean, period. Like, yeah, the first 10 races are over a 12 week time period. So, you know, uh, I, I mean, I completely understand it. I'm, I'm not their, uh, I don't know their situation, but like, it's, it's more than just financial. It's a, it's a huge, it's a huge commitment to make, uh, for any family. And, you know, I'm blessed that, you know, my wife and my kids go with me. Um, and if it weren't for that, I, I would, I would say that uh, this would not would not be something I would do. We would stick around local if my kids and stuff got to where they couldn't come. Um, I'm swapping over to my laptop. I was going to say, like I, <laughs> Hannah, either Hannah has multiple personality disorder because there's another <laughs> Hannah that looks just like her that just popped up on my it's on my me. thing. Watch, I'm just swapping watch over this. Look, look, I got. Oh, I had I had two Hannahs on there at one time. That was. I got no audio. Hang on, we got to turn your audio on. Unmute. Oh, we're here. Now, now we can hear you. Okay, great, wonderful, fixed it. Will the real Hannah please stand up? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So yes. So I've got a bunch of my fans who are asking questions about MPK, and I'll try to catch them. But this is really about the Crossville race this weekend, and and uh, JJ's arm drop and the stuff we're doing, but. James Chaplin, uh, is it true that we can dial the blower overdrive up and take a 50-pound penalty? If it is, I'm just going to say there's going to be a whole lot of crying. We have pulleys. I, as a first I've heard of it, I've seen it today. And if I can turn it up to 105 over and carry 50 pounds, y'all better look out. Like, we'll definitely do that. I'll take the 50 pounds to turn it 105. All right. So what else? You got anything going on in your chat over there, Hannah? What else do we need to talk about? I don't see anything over here right now. I know that we have our giveaway for our four VIP tickets and yes. we're doing a giveaway for the ride in Old Heavy for one of so the rides. My viewers want to know, because I've already had this question asked. I've just kept it quiet. Yeah, you're good. They want to know, is the ride in Old Heavy in the passenger side seat or are they riding in the bed of it? It's in the passenger side seat. We're not doing any I'm not doing any bed riding. <laughs> There'll be no you heard it right here. No bed riding in the in old heavy. None in the bed of the truck. I will put a stop to that. <laughs> so listen, uh, JJ's a showman and he's gonna do whatever you let him get away with. And there's I mean, you know, more power to him. I I, I think that was when two completely crazy people got together on one day. One said I'll drive and the other one said I'll ride in the bed. But and that's uh mind blowing. <laughs> right. I mean, whatever, like, uh, absolutely. So Jack I Harvey, my, my chase, my, my, uh, but uh, what is my take on chases a race? I think chases a race is set up for slow people to have a chance. That's what I think it is. Same as I think that guessing the tree is for slow people to have a chance. That's what it is. But, uh, Anyway, let's give some tickets away. Who are we going to give away some stuff to? What, how are we going to do it? So I've got random.org pulled up on my phone. So we'll just do a random number generator. We had 211 entries. Um, so I will just, I'll, I'll do one first one for just the, the good measure. And then the second one will be the winner of the tickets. So the first one was 188. So we'll do another one. The winner of the four VIP tickets is number four. And let me see who our number four was. Was Corey Stratton is our winner for the VIP tickets. 
And then let's see on who the winner will be for the ride in Old Heavy. Number 121. Let's see who that is. Courtney Davis is the winner for our ride in Old Heavy. And Corey Stratton has won our four VIP tickets. Awesome, guys. Absolutely. Really cool of Crossville Dragway to give that stuff away. Um, here's a Crossville local guy, fan, friend of mine, Rick Abadowski. How much does it cost to get in Saturday to watch? It is $30 for general admission. Kids 12 and under are free. Um, if you would like VIP tickets, I know we have a limited amount left. They're $100. Um, we also do have tailgate parking and um, VIP parking. So you can do VIP parking for 30 or tailgate for 50 Awesome. Rusty Jones says he just wants to do a burnout in a blower car. That's that's way cool, man. Uh, if I still had the passenger side seat in the warden, I'd let you do one. But we got the seat out of it right now. Every ounce matters, and that thing's a heavyweight. It's, I, you know, I'd just about take – if we had some scales, I'd about bet it's it's heavier than old heavy is. But wow. uh, it's a heavy old car, but it's a real it's a real deal Camaro. Uh, it is sitting here right here behind me. It is ready to go for the weekend. You know what's weird? If you ever – you don't know this unless you're doing this from a screen, but see, whatever you move – like I'm moving right, but on my screen I'm moving left. And so it, it it's hard to get things – focused i i'm it's like driving a tow motor i gotta turn right <laughs> and go uh, absolutely but, uh, all right um de -dum, de -dum, de -dum. what's up what do you got on your end i'm just people over here they're like winners 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 and i'm like i'm posting it i'm sorry <laughs> Are you, are they, are they, yes, you'll be able to buy rides there in Old Heavy. That's the way it's always worked everywhere I've been. I think that's right. Or they got to do it um, somewhere They're else. actually picking it from VIP. So the people that purchase VIP, they're going to pick somebody to ride in that ride, multiple rides, some rides in Old Heavy from our VIP tickets. Cool. So they can't just buy it separate. They may be able to. As of now, we are just doing it through the VIPs. That could change though. I mean, you know how it kind of goes with, everything um that could that could very well change well i'll just say it and michael i love you but i'm just gonna tell everybody they got money in their pocket and they take it up to jj and they want to ride no heavy i'm betting they'll get a ride no heavy <laughs> jj's not going to turn a couple things down in the world and and money is definitely one of them i don't know what the other one would be i'll leave that up for jj to tell you but uh, i'm telling you that he ain't gonna turn down no money but you might have to tip, tip Newcomb and Newcomb get it set up for you. That'd be the better plan. Fair. Um, what time do gates open and what time does the track go live? Gates open at 10 a.m. Um, people, if you're traveling from out of state and you're coming to race, you can park overnight Friday. You just have to supply your own power. Um, racing starts at 6 p.m. Sorry, Jimmy's out training. He's at my son is uh, following in his old man's footsteps in a lot of ways. He is uh, doing MMA training right now. And awesome. um, I just want to know what the other guy looks like because Jimmy's got oh, some blood on his face right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Like he, he is hitting that guy in the, in the fist with his face. Yeah, I'd hate to see uh, the other guy. <laughs> what I said, I wonder what the other guy looks like. But that's why he couldn't be live. I, I wanted him to be live with me tonight, but he said he had MMA to, to do tonight. So uh, um, and my marketing director, when can I get a call back for the hero cards? I didn't know I needed to call you back. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I feel the pain on that. I'm, I'm also a marketing person. <laughs> I didn't miss a call, knucklehead. I like the one you sent me. <laughs> Man, can't believe he, he's and he's on he's on the How Motorsports account calling me out. Like, when am I going to get a call back? 
That is great. Um, but yeah, we may walk around the track some on Saturday and do a little bit of live video. So I may squeeze over by where y'all at and just hop on and everything. I'll I try to do a little pit walk before everything happens, but from what Nukem said, it's it's going to be really packed. So I don't know how much of a pit walk I'm going to do. <laughs> They're bringing you a golf cart. You'd be walking forever out there. People, yeah, people be I'm used to it. I, I've shot no prep stuff there and then the regular stuff. So I I've seen you the the back end. I seen you Saturday out there and I, I was going to introduce myself and everybody to you, but I was helping uh, Kent Hall there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. with his driver, and then we had to get, we had other things we had to do. I, I mean, obviously we're trying to get all this stuff done that we can go racing. But, Absolutely. Uh, that, um, Brandy Nicole Mayton asked, uh, will we be participating in the Hillbilly Drags at Crossville this year? Brandy, I don't know. Um, I don't know what our schedule is. So, like, the way this thing works, I, just, I tell everybody, we have people who want to know when we're going to be at this track or when we're going to be at that track. And if it's not um, – if it is Street Outlaws, that is uh, top priority for us. So, like, if, if they tell us we have to go somewhere, um, then, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing. But now – you know, it, it, uh, it has to make sense to, you know, for us, uh, financially to do some of those, some of that stuff. So, uh, we will be, if, if we are home, if there's not a no prep Kings race going on and we are home and not completely wiped out, uh, tired, um, then, uh, yeah, we, we enjoy coming and running those things. That's a, it's actually a blast. We usually bring, uh, you know, several cars and Dan and, and, uh, Amanda and Jimmy and all of them have a good time with it. So, and if you've never been to a Crossville Dragway Hemolish, uh, uh, Crossville Dragway Hillbilly Demolition Race, you are missing out. It is absolutely the coolest thing ever. Um, the most mayhem and destruction you will ever see uh, inside the walls of a drag strip, and and uh, we have a we have a good time at those. Uh, Sam Butler, Michael, in Kansas really enjoyed when I went to Oliver Springs to speak, thank you. I enjoyed being over there at Oliver Springs. I've got another one coming up in, uh, Bledsoe. Yeah. Bledsoe County, I think, uh, in May. So looking forward to that. We go and talk to the kids and do motivational talk at the schools. Um, and, uh, talk about skilled trades and all that stuff at various schools across the country. And I, I def definitely enjoy that. So, uh, I, it was good to see your kids. They didn't think I knew who they were, but, they didn't realize that I watched some little boogers grow up at the racetrack and I knew exactly who they were. So, uh, it's really, really, really cool, uh, to see some of the kids that were, you know, so little at one time who are now, you know, five foot 10 and, uh, near, nearly adults. So very cool. Corey, I just seen your comment on here on how do you get the tickets? I will put your name, um, with the four count of the VIP tickets at the gate with Tom, um, or whoever's at the gate, I will get that over to them and we will get that handled for you. So you'll just come to the gate and let them know that you're the Corey that won the tickets. Awesome. Make That's sure you have ID. I got, I got a bunch of unscrupulous people watching. They'll, they'll show up and tell them they're him. Yeah, absolutely. But. Have your ID. They'll have to show it at the, <laughs> at the gate. Oh, what else we got? I think we've got everybody's answers. Everybody's questions answered. Yeah, I think we've got it all. I appreciate you coming on live. Sorry we had the technical difficulty, but okay. It's part listen, it's part of a How Motorsports Live broadcast anytime we go live. We're gonna have some sort of hang up. <laughs> Absolutely. These Absolutely. guys that do it and they don't have hang ups, my hat's off to them. Uh you know, this is uh doing what you and I are doing through StreamYard is uh, it's really cool. And I just did I just signed up like a month ago for the kick thing, the new kick live deal. Mm -hmm. Um, not kick like the phone, the phone deal. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Corey Swanstrom wants to know what tickets Corey Swanstrom. If you come this weekend, I will personally buy you a VIP ticket just so I can hang out with big country and we can watch Jimmy race. Well, and I'll strap you an old heavy and I'll pay for that too. I want you to ride next to JJ. <laughs> We'll have some big fun. Uh, but anyhow, guys, that's – I'm I really looking forward to coming out there and, and really just hanging out. Um, I have such a good time when I get to come to Crossville, um, especially when I'm not racing because I, right. I get to have more fun, you know. And so Jimmy racing this weekend in small tire is going to be a lot of fun. And then, you know, of course, 
after Saturday, the fun stops because we're going, we're going full on. I got a test on Sunday and then, uh, we may test Sunday and Monday, but by Wednesday, we're going to be heading to Pennsylvania for the first no prep Kings race. And that's, uh, that right now, um, is going to be good. Jerrica, good to see you. Sorry about your loss, dear. Um, you and Jason have been in my prayers. And for those of you that don't know, um, you know, I hate, I always like having good talks about everything, but, um, you know, we lost a, we lost a pretty important person to me this morning. And, uh, Jason Miller and his brother, Chris Miller have been a part of, you know, our family. I've raced with them, grew up with them. Their dad, Royce, uh, raced with my dad. We've had a long history, a long friendship. Uh, and I race with them at MIR at Maryland international at world cup every year that we can. Uh, and we go there as much as we can, whenever we can. And, uh, sadly, um, you know, Chris is no longer with us and I don't know details. I don't know what happened, but the Miller brothers production is a, uh, a force to be reckoned with in the promoting world. And they put on some killer events and, uh, sadly, you know, sometime last night, um, a big part of that group is, has left the world from us. So, uh, you know, that was what I woke up to this morning and, um, it really, really sucks. So, uh, hug your loved ones a little tighter tonight. And, uh, we never know he was a young man. And, um, I say young man, I guess we're all getting old. I think I'm a young man too, but I'm 50. So, uh, too young to leave here though. And, uh, I hate it, but, uh, our hearts go out to you guys. And, uh, also to you, Jerrica, uh, I know your friend was very special to you and, um, we love you guys. I can't wait to talk to you guys. We're going to be down at their drag strip sometime this summer, uh, making some passes over there in, uh, in Alabama, Woodstock, Alabama. One of my favorite places to go. It's very down home racetrack, just like Crossville. Uh, have a lot of fun there. So, uh, all right, guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to go home and, and lock the shop up. I hope to see everybody Saturday at Crossville Dragway and at JJ's race. Um, if you get a chance to uh, go take a ride in JJ, JJ's truck uh, in the front seat, buckled in, uh, in not front. in the bed. Yeah, in the front, buckled in the seat. Uh, it would be a good thing. And um, can't wait to see everybody. And, guys, just so you know, um, we don't sell we this this year I'm doing something much different. We don't sell merch at the racetracks. We have everything moved online. And um we also have the Sienna Howe Foundation shirts that enter you to win the Harley uh and help, you know, Sienna's uh foundation. As many of you know, I lost Sienna two years ago and uh we set up a foundation for her. So everything, all of our merch can be bought online. We may now we're not going to, I'm not going to say may. we are going to bring a t-shirt cannon with us out there Saturday. And I will shoot some free merch out into the crowd, uh, Saturday while we're there and, uh, we'll have a good time. That is something that we're going to be doing this year at numerous events. Uh, so, but if you come to us looking for merch, uh, the only merch I may have with me would be hoodies. That is a good possibility because, uh, we have some overrun and we have a lot of hoodies left here. But, uh, yeah, Tom Newman, um, we're not missing out. And I'll tell you why. You're right. People are impulse buyers. But I have, I go down the road right now with two rigs fully loaded and all the merch that you have to keep up with, plus flying somebody in to man the merch booth and giving them a rental car and a hotel and all the other stuff. Um, we, we want them to spend their money at the facility. We want them to spend their money with the racetrack. And I'm not trying to pick their pockets when they show up on race day. If they want my merch, they can go on our site, buy it. It can be sent to them. And uh, it makes my life easier. And uh, we get a chance to, uh, to do that. You can buy my merch on our website. It is howmotorsportsmerch.com. And you can link it. You can find it on my Facebook page. You can find it everywhere. <clears throat> but uh, the merch that we have at the racetrack, we are giving away. We are not selling it. Nickel me so. if you're still on here. I want a T-shirt cannon. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, and in the most of you guys know, I, we started the foundation for um, my daughter and I'm working with some other foundations, the Best Day Foundation who helps special needs kids 
and uh, they also help terminally ill kids to give them their best day ever. And um, we are also working with another foundation. We were going to announce it today, but I expect the press release to come out tomorrow. I'm not going to ruin it on the live feed, but uh, this is the kind of stuff that we are doing and we are using the Sienna Foundation and our merch sales to help pay for some of the stuff we're doing with these kids. And so it is, um, it is a much better situation for me, <clears throat> a much better situation for our team. Um, I am going out there to win races and do my job. And I just don't have the time to be a merchandiser uh, at the races. And I know a lot of these guys do. It's just not for me. Uh, we have tried it for several years. We have sold a lot of merch at these events. But I can tell you right now, since we went live online and we're selling our merch online, we are selling more merch now than we've ever sold. And the difference is I don't have to fly somebody in. I don't have to house somebody. I don't have to get them a rental car. I don't have to pack 43 million totes in a trailer, which in my defense, uh, I never packed any of it. Uh, my crew did. Uh, but they no longer have to do that stuff. Uh, and so that's why we're doing it. Um, Dan and Chris and all those guys, they never complained. They just went and did it. Jimmy, uh, everybody did their part. But uh, there's just only so much you can do. So we're just not doing it. So uh, we are selling it online. It will be direct shipped to you. And uh, pay attention to online because the guys talk uh, a lot. They get the stuff in just a few weeks. Uh, some get it in a few days. It just depends on where they're at. And Amanda does a lot of our design work on our merch, and she just dropped women's leggings. Uh, they are on the merch site also. And uh, um, Michael Newcomb is going to wear a pair at the end of the year. Um, that's that's our deal. For me doing this live tonight, Michael's got to put the new women's leggings on and, uh, and wear them at the track. It'll be great advertising. I'll make sure I get great pictures for you. It's awesome. Oh, well, I got this. Captain America yeah. asks, Alf, when's, when's the race at Crossville? It is this Saturday. Gates open up at 10 and racing starts at 6. Um, we do have tailgate parking available and VIP parking, so you wouldn't have to walk as much. Um, I've seen that on there as well. <clears throat> Jake Gantner has already started the pool. He's given 20 bucks to see <laughs> Newcomb in those leggings. Oh, gosh. <sighs> You want to build following on your website, girl. This is how we're going to do it right here. Absolutely. I love it. Newcomb's going to get yes, some of them leggings. Central time. We got to get some of them leggings for Newcomb. Oh, Justin, Hoog Justin, Justin Hoogan just popped in for 100. We're already up to 120. Oh, goodness. I love that. To your foundation. That's great. Yep. That's, That's awesome. fantastic. Fantastic. So if you get a chance, check out my social media stuff, guys. It will tell you what it is that we're doing, why we're doing it. And uh, I try to tell everybody, I don't want our fans disappointed. But like Greg Haggerty just said, he got his uh, Sienna House shirt in just a couple days. Super, super fast shipping on the stuff. He also has our new baseball jersey um, that we do. And it is so cool. I can't wait to for more people to buy them. They're selling really good right now. And that baseball jersey is something that Amanda put a lot of time in designing, and uh, it turned out really good. So um, super stoked about that. Nice. But that's it, guys. Um, awesome. We're, I'd rather you spend your money at Crossville Dragway, buy a hot dog, buy a hamburger, buy one of their shirts. You can go online and buy my shirt anytime. Um, we will, like I said, I'll have some stuff there we're going to uh, throw out into the crowd. The only thing I would sell if I'm there would be hoodies, and that's just because we have a bunch of them. Um, and – the, the reality of this is, guys, if you're waiting on me to ship, and that's what a lot of people do, they wait on me to ship. It is 7.40 right now. I started about 5.30 to 6 a.m. every morning, okay? I'm still here in my shop. So the deal is we're all super, super busy, and we just couldn't facilitate the merch sales, the merch shipping, the way that I wanted it to be done. And so that's the reality. I needed to get somebody who could ship it, and that was their job. I'm not in the shipping business. I made a deal with UPS. They wouldn't bond people out of jail. They wouldn't drive race cars, and I would no longer handle shipping. So uh, that's that's just the way it is. And uh, I just know where my strengths and my weaknesses are, and getting the shit shipped out wasn't one of my strengths. So uh, 
at the end of the day, I mean, I, we just set something up to make it better and it has, it has been much better. And our merchandise has got a bigger selection. Everything's better. Like I can't, if I was a carry, just to, so you guys know, my marketing director put this out the other day. He told me that what we have online, um, what we have online currently, if we were to inventory what we have online being sold and the way we're doing it, it is several million dollars worth of merchandise that I would have to house in order to do what we're doing right now through our online stuff. And that is not something that uh, makes any sense at all for me to try to ship in and out. So what we're doing now is super cool and uh, a much better scenario. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to eat dinner. Amanda's made goulash. Oh, and there it is. 2.54 million dollars worth of merch is what I'd have to stock in order to do what we're doing now. And um, you have to buy a whole nother toter. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just that's what I'm <laughs> saying. It, it, it makes more sense to do what we're doing, and uh, and it's it's way better. I don't keep up with this stuff. That's what Jeff does, fortunately, because I you guys can see I, I can't even get off a live feed in time to go eat dinner. So, uh, no, we, we will see you all Saturday. All right. Gates open at 10, Saturday. 6 o'clock. Bye. And uh, we got a soccer game with our little one on Saturday morning, so we'll be there about 11. See you guys.